hi welcome to my channel in my video today i'm going to show you how to make email signature that will look exactly like this i've recorded the video earlier on my channel on how to make this type of signature and it was just recently one viewer made a comment that i didn't show how to put the text beside the signature the one i made in the previous video and that's why i'm remaking this video in 2023 in order to be able to design a signature that looks exactly like the one I have on my screen here, I'm going to quickly take you through how to make it. And also you will need to download the logo of the different uh, brand or company that you want to represent or that you want to show in your signature as well as your company signature. For today's video, because I'm no longer working in this uh, institute, which was the one I showed in my previous video, I'm going to sh show you how to make that same type of signature, but using my current logo and every other thing. In order to get started, you need to download the logos of the different brand that you're going to be using. So I've downloaded five here, the one for Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, ResearchGate, and Twitter, as well as I've copied out the, my link to each of these platform so that I don't waste your time in this tutorial. We are going to be using two different applications to design this logo. The first one is Word document and the second one is going to be uh, email. It could be Outlook or Gmail depending on whichever one you are going to be using. So first, let's design and arrange our signature the way we want it to be in our Outlook uh, email or in the Gmail. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be using a table format so I'm going to design two tables, one to add the, oh, I don't want it there. So I'm going to first make a table where I will arrange the address, the detail and everything that I would like to include in my signature. So what I will do is to design a single uh, colon table. So I'm going to, should I use four? Yes. Let me use a table that has four cells. And you can see that now I can start working on how I want to arrange my signature. The name of my current of my new YouTube channel is called Impact with Alice. So let me remove there. Let me start from this second line. Okay. Company's phone number. Don't worry. I do not have a phone number yet for this company. But I'm going to make up some random number so that we can go ahead with this tutorial. So now we have a, we've added a phone number. The next, next thing is to add the name of the company and the name of the YouTube channel is Impact with Alice. This is about scholarship support platform. Let's just call it something to make up something. And it's in London, United Kingdom. So you see, now we have an address. The next thing we want to do is now to add the to add the logos at the base here, and those logos are this uh, icon. Remember, in that video, I showed you that those logos are made to be clickable. So that when you click on that logo, it takes you automatically to the page, to the, to the company's Facebook page or YouTube page or LinkedIn page. So what I'm going to do now is to copy the logo. I think I will start first with the LinkedIn. So let me copy the LinkedIn. I will paste it here. Leave a space. Leave double space. Copy the one for ResearchGate because that also is more about it's a professional platform. Paste it there double space again take the let's say uh, the Twitter now paste also double space the next thing we need to do is to size this down so that it fits on a single roll and it's looking beautiful so in order for me to format these figures instead of me to be squeezing it in like this or something like that I could use a different method to get the same kind of results. So first, let me see how small. First, I'll click on here where it says picture format. 
and then I'm going to see how small I can make this logo to be. You can see that I can make it as small as 0 0.76. For the next one, I don't need to start squeezing it. I will just type 0 0.76 inside the picture format. You can see it automatically size it down. I will do the same for all the other logo, 0 0.76. Also, this becomes smaller. You can see I have all those logos on the same line and they are small. In order to then make them to be clickable, what will I do? For the LinkedIn, I've already, I told you earlier that I've copied out the links that I'm going to be using because I don't want to be going back and forth. So what I would do is to copy my LinkedIn link. And then I will click on the on the image and then click on Ctrl K. So if you click on the logo itself, then click on Ctrl K on your keyboard. That will open up this page for you to show the address. And I'll just paste my LinkedIn address there and say, OK. So now this LinkedIn, if I click on it, it should take me to my LinkedIn profile. You can see that it's easy to design a clickable link. I will do the same for the research gate. My research gate profile is this. Click on the on the eye on the logo, control K, paste, enter. So now we have my signature ready for one part of the of the table. Remember, I showed you that we are making this type of signature. The next thing I'm going to do is now to create a table that has two colon. Insert table. I'm going to be using a two by two table. And here, on the first one, I can match this table by highlighting it. Right click on it. And then click match cell so that that weight become a single cell. And then I can write my name, which is my heart. now I'm a doctor. It's nice to be a doctor. Dr. Alice Esiela. Founder. I'm the founder. Founder Impact with Alice. To make my name stand out, I can make my name to be bold. And that way, that is ready. The next thing I want to do is to insert my YouTube uh, channel signature. And I think I downloaded this just recently. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it inside here. You can see that the signature is really big. I can also size that down by clicking on picture format. And let's say we make it about, let's say five centimeter. Five is too big. So now I'm then going to copy and paste the first table that we made earlier, this one. I will just click here, copy it, and then paste it inside the second cell. And you can see that now we have this uh, signature by the side of the logo. However, this logo is still taller than the, the one I pasted. So what I'm going to do, what I can do is to size this down a bit more so you can see now we have all that and then to make it appear that it's not showing any of the uh, table all you just have to do is click on the table itself and click here on this uh, part where you can normally let me zoom in so that you can see what i'm talking about if you click here you can say no board no border that way there's not going to be any border shown and on the second table you do the same say no border now we have our signature i also want my logo to be clickable i want this that when people click on my logo it automatically brings them to my youtube channel i can just repeat that process by clicking on copying the youtube link again click on my logo and Control k to paste the signature so that if we then click on this logo it will just bring you to my YouTube channel. So you can see that creating a signature is very easy. Now let's go and paste this logo, uh, signature in our Outlook 
or email. So to paste this signature in our Outlook email, all we have to do is to, if you are using Mac like myself, click on the sections that says Outlook and then you will choose Preferences. And if you choose preferences, it will open up this page where you can then click on the signature. You can see that this is the current signature that I have. I'm going to be making a new one. So I'm going to go and copy that signature that we designed on the table itself. And then click on copy. And then I'll paste it here. When I paste it here, you can see that it's still showing the, um, the borders for the table just click on that table again you highlight the table right click on the table and select the functions that says table properties you are going to get this option let's go to the part that says borders and shading if i go to the part that says borders and shading i'm going to select none so that i don't have any uh, border in the in, in the table say okay and now I'm going to do the same for the second table. Click on it, right click, table properties, select borders and shading. Say you do not want any border on the table and say OK. And now you can see that all that is gone. And all I have to do is to give a name to that signature. We'll call this Alice, Alice YouTube and click Control Save. You can click Ctrl S or use the save icon on top of that page. And now I can close this. So if I want to compose a new email, I can click on new email and select my signature. So on the signature, I want the signature that we just made. What I will do is to just go to the signature part and select Alice YouTube. And you can see that they, they designed the newly, uh, the new signature that we design is ready for use and if you click on my logo on my brand logo you can see that it will bring you to impact with alice youtube channel if you also click on let's say the research gate if you click on that icon the signature or the link it will bring you to my youtube um, to my research gate profile and if it is the linkedin that you click on it will also bring you to the linkedin profile so you see it's easy to create a signature i'm sorry that this video took longer i just needed to show you step by step without jumping any of the loops so that you understand how to make it yourself thank you for watching this video and do not forget to click subscribe goodbye